nomenclature. A systematic nomenclature, which is IUPAC system, is used to name alkenes and many other organic compounds. First, determine the parent name. Choose the longest continuous carbon chain. For example, for this structure, the longest continuous carbon chain has six carbon atoms. Second, identify the substituent. Number the substituent in the parent chain with the lowest possible number. Hyphen is used to separate number from words. Third, when two or more same substituents are present, number each substituent the lowest possible number. Hyphen is used to separate number from words. Comma is used to separate numbers from each other. Use prefix di for two identical groups. Try for three identical groups. Tetra for four identical groups and so on. Exercise. Name the following alkenes according to IUPAC nomenclature. Number one, the longest continuous carbon chain has six carbon atoms and two metal groups at carbon number three and carbon number four. Therefore, the IUPAC name is 3,4-dimethylhexane. Number 2. There are 7 carbons in the longest continuous carbon chain. And there are 3 substituents, which are 2 metal groups at carbon number 3 and one ethyl group at carbon number four. So the correct name is four ethyl three three dimethyl hexane. Four. When two or more different substituents are present, number each substituent the lowest possible number. List alphabetical order prefixes di, tri, tetra, sub, third, and so on are ignored, except iso and nil. Hyphen is used to separate number from words. Comma is used to separate numbers from each other. For the following example, the longest continuous carbon chain has six carbon atoms. Ethyl at carbon number 3 and methyl at carbon number 4. So, the correct name is 3-ethyl-4-methyl-hexane. Fifth, when two chain of equal length are present, Choose the chain with greater number of substituent. Looking at the example below, two carbon chains are possible, one with three substituents and another one gives four substituents. So, the name for this structure is 235-trimethyl-3-propylheptin. Naming cycloalkene. 
Cycloalkanes and alkanes are belong to the same class of compound. The general formula for cycloalkane is CnH2n. Cycloalkanes are named in two parts. The prefix cyclo is followed by the alkane name. The table shows molecular formulae of some cycloalkanes with their respective names. When only one substituent present, use suffix as parent name, prefix for substituent, and the number is not needed to show the location of the alkyl group. For the first example, the correct name is methylcyclohexane, and for the second structure is third butyl cyclopentane. When two substituents are present, name the substituents according to alphabetical order. The substituent to be named first given number 1. Number in the direction that gives the net substituent the lowest possible number. So the correct name is 1,3-dimethylcyclohexane. When only three substituents are present, begin at a carbon with the substituent that leads to the lower set of locants. For structure 1, the correct name is 1-ethyl-1,3-dimethylcyclopentane. While for structure number 2, the correct name is 1-chloro-4-ethyl-2-methylcyclohexane. When the number carbon in the ring is less than that in the straight chain, cyclic alkanes become substituent and names as cycloalkyl. For the first structure, the correct name is ethyl cyclopropane and the second structure is sub-butyl cyclopropane. When two or more ring is attached to a single chain, cyclic alkanes become substituent and named as cycloalkyl. Therefore, for this example, the correct name is 1,3-dicyclohexylpropane.